Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Liz Ruckerson, CEO of iProspect North America. iProspect, a Dentsu company, is a leading global media agency. Our unmatched mix of media strategy, digital storytelling, and specialized audience insight has set a new standard for performance-driven brand building. iProspect drives accelerated growth for some of the world's most iconic brands, including Abercrombie & Fitch, Cox, Caring, and Hilton. As CEO, I develop innovative media teams that support our customers in making the connected media vision a reality. Now, we've already heard from Jim, Mel, and Natalie about how we're embracing an ongoing B2B renaissance. I'd like to talk specifically about how we as leaders can show up at the forefront of this renaissance. Do you all recognize these two incredible women? That's right. Billie Jean King, one of the greatest tennis players of all time, and my favorite, Caitlin Clark, uh, arguably the GOAT of college basketball. Agreed. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are among the 13 million viewers on Monday night's game between Iowa and LSU. As a Hawkeye myself, we put Iowa on the map. Um, I've got Caitlin fever. Anyway, apart from being game-changing athletes, these two women have something else in common. They both know and say one thing, pressure, is a privilege. Hold on to that thought because I'll come back to it. As marketers, we are at a crucial crossroads. For starters, the global job market has seen significant changes. According to new LinkedIn research, we're seeing a 42% decrease in marketing job posts. 75% of marketing professionals are having to navigate budget constraints and they're being asked to do more with less. I know that's true for my customers. 86% face the challenge of making substantial operational changes. And for many, this is happening concurrently. LinkedIn research also shows that in 2023, over 3,000 marketing job posts mentioned AI. I'm sure we're all confident that that will skyrocket this year. So I'll state the obvious. We are going through a period of enormous change. Take AI as that prominent example. 33% of our colleagues are taking up AI tools and embracing them in their daily routines in 2024. And while three in four B2B marketing leaders say they plan to start or continue, continue to use generative AI, less than two in 10 report they have an extremely good understanding of exactly how to use AI. So this signals not just a collective push toward embracing new technologies, but a need to make a sharp turn in our strategic approach. Digital transformation and the changing jobs landscape are reshaping the future of B2B marketing. But with that reshaping comes tremendous opportunity for growth and innovation. So what do we do? In the midst of accelerated change and in the heavily digital remote work environment that most of us live in day to day, leaders must create a new set of rules, leveraging skills that enable unconventional ways of navigating change. We must empower our people to achieve through change instead of in spite of it. In my experience, there are really three key elements to effective change. Vision, repetition, and optimism. I'll share an example I'm going through currently. In my role at iProspect, I've just led my, th my team through a reorganization which required integrating and organizing, reorganizing over 600 of my team members. This came just one year after I integrated two acquired agencies. So change on change on change in our business in a period of enormous change in our industry. I'm sure many of you can relate. And I'll be honest, what I felt at the beginning of this process was one thing, pressure. Pressure to make it happen, pressure to keep our teams on track for the sake of our customers, and pressure to retain our business performance. And that's where Billie Jean's words came in, pressure is a privilege. I realized how privileged I am to have this job and lead this team through change, which really helped me focus. My team operates virtually for the most part, so those three elements of change were what I really kept to heart. I created my vision and shared it with my team. And what I've found is, particularly in a virtual environment, repetition is key for people to really buy into your message. So I repeat that vision every time I have a monthly all hands and ensure that every strategy clearly ties back to that vision. Finally, since I've had the realization that this change-induced pressure is a privilege, I've embraced an optimistic view to change, and I've been able to foster a culture of optimism in my team, allowing them to not only thrive in our internal change, but embrace the market changes we and our customers are facing. So of course, 
While my example is an internal one, all of us work with customers who are navigating unprecedented levels of change. The essence of overcoming change lies in providing that clear and optimistic vision for the future, one that shines a light on the why between, behind our actions. And by clarifying a vision, repeating it, and remaining optimistic about the opportunity that comes with change, we turn challenges, like leveraging AI, into opportunities for our colleagues and our customers. And if we think about it, tools like AI, which may seem intimidating at first, are actually an invitation. An invitation for us and our customers to embrace optimism and lead the way toward a future where technology creates creativity, enhances it, creates efficiency, and growth. Together, we can lead this journey, we can navigate this journey and lead our teams and customers toward growth and success, even if that growth and success looks a little different than it did before. And as leaders, it's our responsibility to embrace the pressure of change and guide our organizations with vision, repetition, and optimism. As Billie Jean and Caitlin say, that pressure is a privilege. Thanks for your time today. Go Hawks.